All right, I am back. Um, I'm trying to get my car repaired. Um, for those who don't know, I haven't been driving for the past five and a half months or so. And now I'm driving and I'm very, very, very excited. Um, so basically, I was talking to you about American Street by Ibi Zaboa. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about Rita um, Williams Garcia, and she just messaged me on Facebook, which is so freaking cool. I look forward to the day that I'm doing this as an author. But um, Rita Williams Garcia, some of the other books that she has written, and I'm trying to pull that up so I can tell you about it. Um, what I like about Rita, well, Miss Rita, is she pushes the envelope. She pushes the envelope. She pushes issues that normally you don't hear about. So I have read three books by her. I realize I have one book I need to read. Um, two more books I need to read by her that I have not read by her. One Crazy Summer is about these group of girls. So they live with their father and they end up going to um, live with their mother who they realize is part of the Black Panther Party. So they have to attend, if I'm not mistaken, a summer camp about being a Black Panther child. And um, that's one book that I definitely need to find on my shelf and I need to read that. Um, I read Like Sisters on the Home Front. You have a young lady, I don't remember the main character's name, but she ends up being pregnant. So her mom sends her out in the country um, and her and her cousins form this unlikely relationship. Even though they're family, they're totally different. But I loved the rawness and the realness of this book. Um, no Laughter Here was hard to read. That was the first one I read by her. What I like about like Sisters on the Home Front, No Laughter Here and Jump. Very easy reads, probably less than 150 pages. Um, no Laughter Here deals with circumcision and how it's still legal in certain countries. And one young lady, she finds herself struggling and um, when she, especially when she realizes that her friend is going through something that she feels like, I understand that's your culture, I understand that's your history, that's your tradition, but why? Like, why Why do you, she questioned, um, and it, it just shows like the child uh, innocence being taken because of this. And it, I loved No Laughter Here. It was a very hard read. Um, especially once you figured out what was going on between the young lady. But um, but that's something I want to share. But back to American Street um, by Ibi Zaboa. Um, Ibi, 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 Ibi. Y'all, this book is one of the best books I've read in a while. And y'all remember I told y'all about Allegedly. That's how I felt about Allegedly. Um, that's how I felt about Dear Martin. Um, it is the connections acting up, so I apologize right now, y'all. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna admit, America Street starts off slow because pretty much you just see Fabiola and you're trying to figure out how she gonna get her mom back, and she she feels like the aunt's not doing enough, um, and the cousins are not doing enough. I need to get my aunt back. Um, and this book explores voodoo. Um, I will say the culture of it and how it affects the lives of Haitians who practice it, um, how they, re how they regard it. Um, I'll admit there is some language there, a lot of language because pre, I told y'all who cursed you out in a minute and curse in front of her mama like it's nothing. Um, they all curse in front of their mama like it's nothing. Um, this is Aunt Jo. So you have, but with the narration with Fabiola, who doesn't curse, there's not a lot of cursing there. Um, ironically, in the course of her being there, she meets this guy named Kasim, who she's not trying to fall for. She's not trying to deal with. She, But she does, because Kasim is a sweetheart. Um, he hangs with Dre, and he may not be... Dre may not be the best company for Kasim, but there's something about loyalty. And that's one of the themes that's explored here with Ibby is sometimes we have what I call misplaced loyalty. People who we are loyal to, we shouldn't be because they're not the best fit for our lives. 
if I might, I'm making sense. And you'll see when you read the book. Um, but Kasim is in head over heels for Fabiola. He he loves her. He, he doesn't say he loves her, but he definitely is falling for her. And he goes out of his way to woo her. And um, I love that about Kasim. He's a sweetheart. He's not like Dre, who is honestly, you, you cheat on Donna. You don't treat her right, but you expect her to still be there. And um, so Fabiola is going to this new school. She meets up with Imani. This goes to show how crazy um, Donna and Trey's relationship is. So Kasim, I can't remember exactly, and I may be wrong, but Kasim and Dre, um, Fabiola and her friend Imani need a ride home. And Imani doesn't want to be near Dre because, number one, Dre is with Donna. And everybody knows that they're called the three Bs, okay? Um, and you know, you know what I'm talking about. They're called the three Bs, but at the same time, Chantel is known for her brains. And Donna is known for her beauty. And then Pri is known for her bronze, okay? So they're known as the three Bs. You don't mess with them. You don't you don't try to fight them. You don't talk to their men. You don't talk to their women. You don't you don't mess with them. And Imani immediately when Dre was like, when Dre was noticed that she was admiring his car. Imani really didn't want to admire his car because she knows he's a drug dealer. He's abusive. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to even be around him. Because Donna is crazy. So, Dre is like, why are you admiring? Why don't you come and sit on my lap and let's take a picture and put it on Instagram. Imani immediately knows this is going to be drama and I do not want to be bothered. But you don't tell Dre no. It's sad, but you don't tell Dre no. A lot of people are afraid of Dre. And um, so, she ends up sitting on Dre's lap. And taking this picture with Dre. Posted on Instagram. Before Imani. Before they can even pull up to the curb good. To the house. Where Fabiola is staying with her cousins and her aunt. Donna comes out the house. And goes ham. And I know you're not cheating on me with this girl. Now mind you. It's a simple picture. And Imani didn't want to do it. And Fabiola tried to take up with her. But it's to the point, like, literally, Fabiola will like, like Imani, who's her friend, to come to the house. She doesn't want to be around Donna. Because Donna now is has it out for Imani. And mind you, it was clear that Imani doesn't want him. She doesn't want to be with him. But he, it's crazy. So... Fabiola is trying to figure out how I'm going to get my mom. And she notices this woman keeps watching her and popping up in places where, like, who is this woman? We'll come to find out the woman is a detective. And there has been a very suspicious death of a white girl through some drugs at a party. Now, when the story comes up on the news, immediately pre Chantel and pre and Donna get quiet, kind of look at each other. They look guilty. So you know they either know something or they witness something and you find out, I want to say towards the end, how it all ties in together. It's crazy, y'all. It's crazy. So, but then Fabiola is confronted by this officer and said, I know your mom's in lockup. I know that ICE has her. ICE. Mm. I know that ICE has her. So if you can help me out with this investigation, I can help you out and get your mother out. So Fabiola was like, yes, because she, she knows. Dre is behind that. Dre's already no good. Dre already abuses my cousin. I'm tired, I'm tired of him. I'm going I'm gonna find a way to get close to Dre. And I'm gonna find a way to get um this evidence for the the detective. But it's gonna cost Fabiola more than she expected and it's not going to be as easy as she expected so you need to read American Street there's history behind American Street um, 
it's just it's just an awesome book this book reminds me of dear martin where when in dear martin i'll admit it was good but then it got really good towards the end and i want to say towards the end i want to say the middle it's like both of these books are similar that the climax just goes into this snowball effect of events that tie in everything together like all it's like you're pulling the shoelaces of the shoe and pulling it tighter and it's it, or every or the sewing needle is just connecting all the fabric and you're just sitting there like at, at one point last night i couldn't sleep so i woke up and i ended up finishing the book it was like almost 100 pages i love explosive endings where you just like oh my gosh like why Ibby? why so definitely this is a good read if you can get over the language it's an awesome read it's awesome drama um this is another book i can easily see as a movie if someone picks it up and it's it's good stuff so definitely check out america street again she has another book called pride but this one, as you can see, is a National Book Award finalist. There's a reason for that. Like the way she tells the story is so eloquent. Um, she's definitely true to all the characters. It's just, you really do struggle with Fabiola because I'm her thing. Her main concern is I want my mom home. I want my mom back. And I'm willing to do anything to get her back. But she's going to make some sacrifices. She's, she doesn't think or she doesn't realize this is going to end up happening. So if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about, anything that I've discussed, please, 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 please inbox me, DM me, um, and then happy reading. <laughs>